So for instance, as soon as you say, you know, what is your superpower? Then, you know, there's, there's this assessment I could take or that assessment I could take. Should I trust assessments or do I just need to ask myself and answer as honestly as possible a series of questions? I mean, that's one question. What is your superpower? What's another great question I might ask myself to try and narrow down what it is that I'm good at? You know, if you're early in the phases, I'd say, you know, take things like Myers-Briggs and StrengthsFinder and, and some of those. They're really blunt instruments, but they'll get you at least directionally, you know, starting to understand. You know, if you're a high introvert, you're not going to be probably leading a sales meeting unless you can put up put on a performer hat, in which case you might. I'm an yeah. introvert. Some introverts are really good in front of stages. They're just generally not good more one-on-one. Yep. Uh, then the next step I would say is, yeah, ask yourself hard questions. What am I great at? When do I get in the flow state? What you know? What's that narrative that fits through that? And then that probably the hardest one, but maybe the best one of all, and maybe it should come last, is ask the 10 people that know you best, uh-huh. what are my top five strengths? What are my top five weaknesses? And here's the magic uh, about this world is I am an anaerobic athlete. I can generate lots of power. The cost of entry for being an anaerobic athlete is I am a terrible aerobic athlete. Right. Almost every strength has a corresponding cost of an associated weakness. If you are a direct, honest person, you are also blunt and rude. If you are a big picture strategist, you're probably terrible with details. If you're creative, you're probably disorganized. If you're practical, you're probably critical. If you're detail oriented, you're probably a perfectionist. I could go on and on. The cost of entry for a true superpower is its inverse. And that's the thing you got to design a room. You don't throw a big picture strategist into a PMO organization. Right. You don't. You've got to use people's strengths when the appropriate time is right. And don't try to force fit a, a round peg into a square hole. It will never work.